Okay, time to answer some more questions submitted by people on my Patreon. Uh, if you want to submit a future question, uh, my Patreon link is down there. Go check it out. Do only a dollar to pledge. Anyway, let's jump in. What song are you singing on karaoke night? Uh, it depends on my on the group. I'd say some go-tos are like Reptilia, Take On Me, Say It Ain't So. If you want to go a little sillier, Stacy's Mom, All Star. Uh, Bring Me to Life is also classic. Um, you got your Be My Baby, Can't Take My Eyes Off of You. Uh, and then if it's like a weebier crowd, we'll go into anime stuff. You know, God Knows from Haruhi is a really fun one. Ride on Shooting Star. Anything from Inuyasha. Um, or I'll do K-pop, like, you know, Cupid by 5050. But those tend to be the ones I... It depends on the group I'm with, what the vibe is of the room. Besides Blackberry, what was your favorite film from 2023 and why? Uh, my favorite film from 2023 was Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, although I also really liked John Wick Chapter 4 and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. In your opinion, what differentiates a good board game rules explanation from a bad one? The big thing is you don't need to uh, go through everything like methodically you really just need to explain the basic things you need to write away and other things can be explained as you go uh i think if you front load with too much uh it, it can just get overwhelming if i'm breaking down a new board game with my friends i will go through the rule book and we'll go through it together but then i'm very good at like breaking down exactly what um, like the key things you just need to know for like a round, a round or something like that. I mean, and, and the best board game manuals are ones where it just clearly just explains the basics, uh, and then, you know, gradually introduces you to like little nitty gritty details. Uh, if it's all at once, it's just a little too much. So yeah. Simple is best. Did you ever take Marie to Halloween Horror Nights and was it everything you hoped the experience was? Uh, I mean, yeah, this shows how old these questions are. But um, for those who don't uh, watch my Let's Play channel, Prosity Plays Games, you should, it's amazing. There's a link down there, Prosity Plays Games. Marie is one of our frequent guests and uh, she uh, is terrified of all horror games. And we did take her uh, and our friend Angel to Halloween Horror Nights. And um, I have never seen a person more terrified of existence uh she it was way funnier to experience halloween horror nights and universal with her in front it, it, it's like everything everything in the world is scary to her and so the rest of us were just cackling with laughter um i'm i'm the type that i don't actually get very scared at those things i'm just more like oh wow that was really well done oh hey that's really cool oh that was a pretty successful scare I'm not the person you want in the front. Like, I'm just, like, appreciating the craftsmanship, but not actually getting scared. Um, so it was everything I hoped the experience would be. What was it like filming the Fix-It Man segment for Game Changer? Uh, <laughs> I mean, Sam literally just was like, hey, uh, I need you to film a thing with me. Will you come do it? I was like, sure, why not? And so I went and they had a teleprompter and the, I won't spoil the episode, but they had the thing I was recording with. Uh, and he told me basically the idea of what uh, the episode was gonna be. And he was like, yeah, we want this to be really long and boring and almost monotone and like awkward. And I was like, well, I can do that. And so I think I ran through it like twice. Uh, I definitely, you know, cracked them up with uh, a certain part involving a scream yeah i just uh took the directions and uh i then i finally watched all of game changer and watched that episode i was like i'm glad i could be a part of that experience do directors ever ask you to do a voice similar to a previous role you've done for example asking you in the booth to make the character performance sound like more like hyodo or more like kage or wanting you to make the character sound similar to a voice you've done in a skit before um Sometimes they will, like if they've watched my demo reel, which has a bunch of my characters, then they sometimes will go, oh hey, we're kind of looking for something similar to this character voice. But it's usually not like uh, like they want a copy of it. It's just like, hey, uh, something in this range, and I'll usually go, okay, basing that, taking that as a reference, 
I'll go with my gut. I go with my gut, I'll give them something, and we can always tweak it from there. But yeah, sometimes uh, a director, if they've if they've seen my demo reel, will ask for something like that as a baseline to start. Fellow Michigander here, what did you get, or what did you get on your ACT slash PSAT? Um, so I don't, I, I don't know if these score differently now, but back in my day, the ACT was out of 36. I scored a 35, uh, which was quite nice. Uh, I mean, I worked my ass off. Uh, because it basically like let me get a 90% full ride to Michigan State, uh, so that was very useful. Uh, the I took the SAT, I think I got like 2170 out of 2400. Um, not as good as the ACT, but still I did both. But uh, yeah, that was those were my test scores. Now I don't know how they score them. It, it's been forever. Will you be starring in any more dropout shows? Uh, I am going to be in the new season of Um Actually. Uh, and then other than that, only time will tell. Come on, Sam. Hit me up. When you play video games at home all by yourself, do you voice some of the characters just for fun? Oh, absolutely. Um, the game I did that recently with was The Great Ace Attorney. I was definitely, like, kind of reading some lines out, out for fun. Um, any any type of visual novel game like that with like really fun characters, yeah, oh absolutely, I'll read the dialogue out loud. Um, and it's like kind of like practice for my Let's Play channel. If I ever play that game on that channel, I'm like, oh, I can kind of, you know, workshop a voice or something. So yes, absolutely. Do you like mayonnaise? I love mayonnaise. If you don't like mayonnaise, you're a coward. Uh, mayonnaise is just perfect for sandwiches. So many sandwiches are too dry. It just adds flavor, adds, you know, just uh, moisture. That sounds gross, but it really does. It's great. It's great. I love mayo. Mayo's the best. All right, that was all the questions this round. If you want to submit more questions for future videos, my Patreon is down there. Okay, peace.